Welcome! In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A16 and today I will show you how we can go through the setup process of this phone. So when you boot it up for the very first time you will be presented with this page right over here where you only have one option which is press the blue button and then find your desired language from the list. Now for me it selected a correct one which is English so I'm just gonna click on next. And then we have for your reviews so we have uh, privacy policy and end user license agreement. You can tap on details to read exactly what you're agreeing to but just make sure you check the first box and nothing else and then go to the next page. The rest is optional, so that's why I don't recommend checking it. If you don't need to agree to legal documents, there is no point to do so. Um, now here we can basically do a quick setup of our brand new phone using another device. If you have an older one, you can do that uh, here. But if you're planning to set it up as new without any kind of uh, messing around with other devices, you can click right here, set up manually, and then connect to Wi-Fi network. Now if this device is completely brand new, I believe you do need to connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, just because Samsung, that, that's as good of a reason as I can give you. Uh, but because this device already was set up before, uh, I can skip it. Now the differences between skipping and not skipping is the fact that uh, if you skip it, and you can, date and time won't be set automatically, so hence why it's showing up right here. Uh, if you choose to connect to a mobile network or Wi-Fi, this page will not show up at all. So what you see is this page instead. And here we have Google services like location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. You can disable all of those, but let's be honest, it's Google, so probably they're gonna still gather data with or without your permission. Moving on to the next page, we have protect your phone by either selecting screen lock, meaning pin pattern or password, adding fingerprint or face recognition. Now, if you're planning to use any of the biometrics, meaning fingerprint or face recognition, you'll be required to select pin pattern or password. And the reason for that is, Biometrics sometimes might be faulty, maybe you cut your finger or you get beat up or whatever, uh, you would basically lose access to your device. Hence, that will leave you with pen pattern and password, which isn't subject to change based on your biometrics. So it would always work. Now, I'm not gonna be protecting this device at all, so I'm gonna select skip and skip anyway. And then we have Samsung services. So, customiz customization services. Don't really care for that, so I'm gonna turn that off. And we can choose our theme, light or dark. Next. And we're basically all set. And there we go. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.